welcome back to my channel. First off, can I just apologise for my hair? I've been out and you'll probably be able to hear the wind in the background of this video, but it is incredibly windy at the moment where I live. Probably be able to hear the wind in the background of this video, but it is incredibly windy at the moment where I live. I've been shopping quite a few times over the last couple of weeks and I have got something every single time. Um, but I was contemplating whether to actually do this because I haven't got a lot, a lot of stuff. But I really wanted to film a haul because I've never actually done one before. So I thought I'd just jump straight in. I think I'm going to start with beauty products. There is kind of like some clothing and so first off I actually got today. I went shopping again today with my grandma. So first off from my grandma I got this infallible mattifying base by L'Oreal. Now I've run out of my Maybelline Dreams, Dream Smooth Primer I think it's called. I've run out of that and I really needed a new one. I tried this out today before I doing my makeup for this video and it says that it like mattes your face first. It doesn't matt your face, but it kind of does tame the oil a little bit more. Um, but it's definitely not like a full mattifying um, product. But I still really like it. My skin feels so, so smooth now, um, which is, I suppose, a good thing. Um, this was, I think it's $7.99. Um, it's quite a lot, like a primer, I think. But yeah, it's completely clear and it just makes your skin or your hand feel really soft which I thought was really really nice. Next up I got a Revolution lipstick and I just kept it in the packaging because I absolutely love the packaging. Rose gold is like one of my favourite colours like at the moment um, so you know anything that's got rose gold on it I just have to buy. So this is one of the hashtag happy lips and it's in the shade love nude. Now the concept of these is a little bit weird and I was trying to explain it to my mum but she kind of didn't get it. Also, the packaging is just looks really, really like sleek and professional. Now, the formula of these is really, really weird. Now, I'm gonna bring it up close. So, basically, it's got like a layer of um, argan oil lip balm, and then it's got the colour there. Um, but as I've been using it, the argan oil around the outside hasn't been wearing down, but the colour has. So eventually, surely then that's just gonna run out. Um, but yeah, and it does take a while for like the colour to actually come out, but it is a super, super, super pretty colour. Um, and that was like two pounds, definitely worth it. And I know they did like bright pinks, if you're like adventurous or want to be trying some different pinks and stuff, but want to kind of keep your lips really healthy um, and it's cheap, um, definitely go check out Revolution. I also got another lip product which I feel really really bad about. I actually got this before the Revolution one though and it's this 17 lipstick in the sh uh, Mirror Shine in the shade Beehive. <gasps> I know this is a dupe for one of the MAC lipsticks but oh boy it's absolutely beautiful. I'll bring it close again. It's just one of them perfect, perfect nudes. And literally, I, I'm in love. It is a very, very, very similar shade. I don't think you're able to see. Shade to um, the Revolution one. But this is definitely more sheer. And in the packaging, it comes with like a little mirror, which I think is really cool. For example, if you were on the go and you didn't have a mirror with you, I think that's really, really nice. This was something like 4 99 but I actually got it free because it was like on an offer like three for two. So yeah, I love it. Next up is actually a nail varnish. And my mum bought me this, but I thought I'd just include it in the haul anyway. Um, and it's this Barry M Speedy Quick Dry Nail Paint in the shade Lap of Honor 508. I love it. It's just, it's a super pastel pink colour. I've actually got it on my nails today. Um, and yeah, I used to bite my nails, so anything, um, so what keeps me from biting them again is actually painting like a really nice nail varnish on it because I, then I don't want to like ruin the nail varnish. Um, so my mum always just buys me little like nice colours that she'd think I'd like to stop me from biting my nails again, which I think is quite cute. But I know there's quite a few colours in this range and they actually do dry really quickly and the finish on them is just really super shiny. They don't last like too long but like I'm, 
I'm happy with the amount that they do last. Next up is a mascara. Now I saw Chloe from Glitter a Little get this, or use this quite a while ago in one of her videos, and her eyelashes afterwards looked absolutely stunning, and I was just like, what is that? I need to get it. Um, but it is £10, so that's why I kind of put off buying it. But now that I've got my job, I had a little bit of money that I'd earned, so I went out with one of my bestest ever friends and had a little shopping spree. Um, but yeah, this is the Bourgeois Volume One Second Mascara. There isn't any words that can describe how good this is. Next up is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, and it's basically like a clear, not clear, a brown brow set, but the wand is so small that it just literally makes your brows look so flawless. Like my brows need something doing to them, like seriously soon. But it is definitely worth it if you want something to kind of revive your brows. Um, so yeah, this is five. <gasps> no, I don't care. Yeah. It's five ninety nine. Um, but I was willing to pay that because I'd heard so many good things about this. I think, oh, I think it was Emily from I'm Here Forever. Again, my mum bought me this because I'd asked her to because I had a couple of days off school and she was like, "Do you want anything to cheer you up?" So I was like, "Yeah, get me an eyeliner." <laughs> and she brought me back the Super Cat Liner um, by Soap and Glory. I really like this. Um, Quite a lot of people were saying that it's like really really pigmented and stuff but mine like isn't um but you can create like super super thin lines so if you wanted to do like a really small wing then it is possible so yeah that's it beauty wise so now it's kind of like clothing and food and stuff first off is this giant batiste um dry shampoo i've even written my name on it already um, because me and my sister she's 16 so obviously she's like this quite a similar age to me we're always fighting about like whose dry shampoo we're going to use another purchase from today is Mockingjay part one um i went to see this for my birthday because my birthday is november 23rd and this came out like i think like the 20th of november so i took me and my best December friends to go see this um and it was so so good but i actually can't remember what happened in it so yeah i'm gonna have to watch that we're going away tomorrow yeah so i'm gonna take this with us and we can watch it there then i went to arc i absolutely love arc but i never go in so that it's like i keep forgetting about it but i've been wanting like a beanie for quite a while now um and i've just never been able to find like the right one that's gonna like fit my head and stuff so i found this one even though my name doesn't begin with an A, it reminded me of A from Pretty Little Liars. Um, so I'm going to pop it on just to show you guys because I'm a loving person. I just love... I don't even... I'm going to try so hard to wear this beanie like all the time. Like, I just don't think my head shape suits them. But I knew I'd got something else beauty related the other day when I went into town with my friend. I got the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit by Barry M. So when I saw this, me and my friend were like, we have to get it. And this was £6, but it looks like this. Um, and it actually says that you should contour with this shade. But I'd say that you'd probably be more likely to contour with this shade and bronze with this shade. They are very, very pigmented, for example. Well, actually, they don't look pigmented there, but when you put them on your skin, they actually are, for example, there. Um, but the only bad thing is it doesn't have a mirror it just has this kind of like um, where to put it and stuff um, which is really useful still but I would have liked a mirror next in the ARC bag even though it's not from ARC I got some icebreakers ultimate mouth refreshing sugar free mints in the flavour spearmint these are from a little shop I can't remember the name of them at the shop if I remember I'll link it down below but I don't doubt it but what I thought was really cool is it's a big side if you're not going to be sharing with people. What a shame. Literally just wasted like um, But then there's if you were going to be like, oh, do you want a mint? Then there's like a little side, so then they only take like one, which I thought was really cool. These are like 240, so love them. Then I got this, which is the Cadbury Dairy Milk. Dime bath. I love Dime bath by themselves. So when I saw it with dairy milk, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to buy some. So that was a pound. Then last but not least, I went into Topshop. 
Um, now, you probably won't know this about me, but I'm a little bit obsessed with the Topshop Joni jeans. I first got a pair like a couple of summers ago, and they got so faded, in fact I think I might still have them, no I threw them away, but they were like the lightest colour, and then on holiday, like last year, I spilt foundation on them, and then I was like, watch it. But I actually got some more Joni jeans, this will be my fifth pair of Joni jeans within a year. Got them in the size waist 26, length um, 32. They're just this colour um, and I absolutely love them. I actually bought some of these like earlier on today and they were too big because I'd tried on the bigger size and then I tried on the smaller size and I just needed to get the one in between so I just bought them without trying on. Um, but then they were too big and like, oh, they were like a really bad pair of like jeans. So I went back and got a smaller pair and I absolutely love these. So that is the end of my mini haul. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this sort of video, leave a thumbs up and I can obviously do lots and lots of more of these types of videos. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a what's in my bag or like what's in my travel bag. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below, let me know if you would like me to do that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!